Okay, this is part two of our latest monster sculpt-off, the cryptid edition. The rematch. Yeah. I did a Jersey Devil, mm? and you have chosen... The, the Mothman. Now, at the time of this recording, I have seen your finished Mothman felt. Mm -hmm. But I'm withholding comments because I don't want to blow any surprises. Right. And you did surprise me. <laughs> because during most of the sculpt, you worked outside the studio mm -hmm. where I couldn't follow your progress. Yeah, I did it because, you know, it's a monster sculpt off throwdown showdown yeah, yeah, rematch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you did a nice job on your Jersey Devil. Thanks. But I had some ideas for a couple different elements I wanted to surprise you with. Something uh, unexpected. Well, mission accomplished. Good. Now, first things first, why don't we go over the origin of the Mothman? In November of 1966, two young couples from Point Pleasant, West Virginia, were driving along a dark road and saw a large creature with glowing red eyes standing at the side of the road. Chilling. Distressed at the sighting, the foursome drove away at high speed. But the creature, now airborne, followed them, flying after their car and making an inhuman screeching sound. It pursued them to the city limits and disappeared into the darkness. The depictions of the Mothman in media cover a range of different characteristics. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, people depict him as a kind of an, an amorphous black blob. Right. With, with, with the idea of wings and red eyes. Mm -hmm. And you can't really see much of the body because it's all in shadow. Yeah, and sometimes the wings are drawn like big black bird wings. Yeah. And it sort of looks like an owl. Other times, the wings are like bat wings, yeah. kind of leathery. Yeah, and, and sometimes they're actually closer to moth wings, mm -hmm. like the statue of the Mothman in Point Pleasant. Mm -hmm. And with that statue, the artist clearly went with the body of a man. <laughs> clearly. But you went your own direction with the design. Yeah. Let's take a look. Okay, well, I never really liked the black blob version of the Mothman. Yeah, yeah, me neither. A, you can't see what he looks like. Right. B, sculpting a blob is boring. I'm sure it is. Also, if he's a Mothman, why give him bat wings? Exactly. Or bird wings? I decided to lean into the moth part of his name and make him a man-sized moth monster. Yeah, and honestly, a man with bat wings would not creep me out as much as a giant bug thing. <laughs> right? A moth as large as I am would... Break my brain. <laughs> yeah. I don't want that. Ever. So good call. Thanks. I really like what you did with the wings. Oh, thanks. That was a surprise. Well, I wanted to try something different. So I cut some basic moth wing shapes out of EVA foam. Then I built up some weird monstery texture with foam clay. I hit them with a heat gun so I can stiffen them up, shape them, and sand them. Then I covered everything in plastic as sort of a primer. This is elaborate. Yeah, it took a while, especially doing it without you finding out. I bet. After the plastic dip, I hit it with some brown paint, regular rattle can spray paint with a little texture to it. Then I detailed it with the airbrush. I wanted the wings to be dark and scary, so I edged everything in black and I wanted two intense red spots on the wings. The way butterflies and moths fool predators into thinking they're big giant eyes. I figured that would feed into the lore about the Mothman and his glowing red eyes. Well, those look amazing. Oh, thanks. And kind of gross, actually. <laughs> yeah. But I am glad you decided to try something new. Me too. So we both did a lot of research into our respective monsters for this sculpt-off. Mm -hmm. You for the Mothman, me for the Jersey Devil. And in both books and online, there are accounts by scientists and naturalists that don't believe either of these creatures is a monster. Right. With Mothman, some people have suggested it's a big owl. Which I can see. Mm -hmm. But the leading theory is that what those two couples saw, what people still see from time to time, is a sandhill crane. Hmm. It's the tallest of the crane species, and they have these bright red markings right around their eyes. So that might account for the red eyes people say the monster has. Mm-hmm. And just to throw a little more gasoline on this fire, there are people, scientists, who think the Jersey Devil also was a sandhill crane. Yeah. You know, it's got the weird body, mm. the wings, the red eyes mm -hmm. again. Do we buy that theory? No. Oh. Are we willing to accept that? Right. I think there's two possible explanations. Either there really are monsters lurking in the woods all mm -hmm. around us. Right. <laughs> or sometime... Since the 1700s, at least, nobody in New Jersey or West Virginia has ever known what a sandhill crane looks like. <laughs> right. Somehow. <laughs> Any of these theories are plausible. I guess. We may never know. So about those red eyes. <laughs> yeah. 
When I saw what you had done, first, I was impressed. Oh, good. Uh, you know, but I also almost called off the competition because come on. <laughs> yeah, well, again, I wanted to try something new. That's what we do. I know. So I sculpted a buggy looking compound eye with clay. Then I made a silicone mold, just a quick mold box made out of foam core and hot glued to a tile. When the mold was ready, I mixed some red dye into resin and poured it in. I should mention that I was, of course, wearing gloves, yeah. a respirator, and goggles. Yeah, well, well, yeah, resin's no joke. No. We always try to wear the PPE when we use it. Once the eye cured, all those little dimples really caught the light. And they look very buggy. They really do. They, they make it look like I phoned in my cabochon <laughs> oh, eyes. <no. laughs> and I feel like if we do this again, I'm going second. <laughs> Okay, fresh out of the headlines. <laughs> He's terrorized West Virginia for decades. Yeah. I think it's time we took a look at your version of the Mothman. Okay. You know, as salty as I am that you <laughs> snuck LEDs into his skull just to win a contest, <laughs> yeah. I think he looks amazing. Oh, uh, thanks. I really like the way he turned out. Yeah. I wasn't short sure first because he was just so buggy. Oh, he's undoubtedly gross <laughs> in a lot of ways. Yes. But somehow adorable and cool. Yeah. And if he were flying after our car on a moonlit road, we would lose our minds. Oh, I know. He's awesome. Uh, <laughs> you know, so let's just see how he squares up with my Jersey Devil. Again, I want to point out, this was my very first needle felt. No, you did a great job. I love your Jersey Devil. They actually look great together. Yeah. I can see these two battling long into the night. Or becoming best friends. Right? So did you have fun working with all the different materials? The resin, <laughs> the EVA foam, all that stuff? I was a little nervous with the resin. Okay. But the eyes worked out. Yeah. And I've been wanting to add lights to a felty for a while, and this seemed like a perfect project for it. The eyes look great. Oh, it all looks you. great. Thank and you. if anybody wants to see how this sculpt off started, they could click the link to see me make my very first needle felt monster, the Jersey Devil. And clearly, you won this. Oh, thanks. So next time we have a monster competition, we are drawing the monsters. I know. We're absolutely that's just a design drawing. sketch. I know it's a design sketch. I don't sketch, draw. That's, that's not clear fair. to me. You don't draw. What I'm saying <laughs> is, I don't needle felt. Yes. Next time. Oh, no.